inventories, a necessary evil in almost any business. Too much and you're wasting money and it hides problems. Too little and you starve out processes and don't give the customer what they need when they need it. We need control measures in place. We need Kanban. Hi, Brian McCorder here with Black Belt Lean Thinking. I want to talk about a lean tool called Kanban. And like most lean tools, it's meant to surface a problem. Just as 5S Plus One surfaces problems in the work environment, Kanban surfaces problems when it comes to inventory. We need controls in place because we never want too much inventory. Again, it just kind of chokes out the entire system. Um, we don't want too little inventory to where we starve out a system. We want just right. We want what we need, when we need it, no more, no less. And we want good flow. Anytime something stops needlessly, be it information, finished goods, raw materials, it's, it's not good. We want to improve flow throughout the entire value stream. We need pull signals in place, triggers that signal something needs to happen. Anytime you have two activities and they're not connected by a positive signal, you've got uh, a problem. It's very easy to have things come to a stop and problems arise and no one notice. Okay, the deal with, with Kanban is it, it basically gives us control over our inventories. We don't want just inventories, in other words, just piles of stuff. We want to give our inventories control limits. We want a maximum and a minimum. This is now called a supermarket. So anywhere you have an inventory, once you create a max and a min, in a way of replenishment, you've taken it from a, an inventory to a supermarket. You've given it control. Um, one of the last factories I helped implement Lean in, we took every raw material we had in each department and we created supermarkets for them. That helped tremendously. It gave everyone a sense of control and it did improve our flow tremendously. It also removed a lot of problems that come with um, too much inventory or, or problems with too little. Again, we had good control. Okay, that pull signal, uh, which is what Kanban actually is, can be something as simple as flipping on a light. So let's say right now I'm standing where there's a little supermarket of boxes that uh, departments need. Uh, it could be as simple as you have a line on the wall for the top level of the boxes and as it gets lower and lower and lower it gets to a certain other line on the wall which is the minimum. So now the warehouse sees this, they're checking it regularly and when they see it hit this line they just replenish it. Very simple Kanban. I know of a department that will say produced widgets and they used to have someone that had to create a schedule for them daily based on what production needs were. Well they decided to set up a Kanban system. So what they did was they created totes that held so many widgets and a cart which held so many totes. And what they went with was when these carts with the totes were empty they turned on the machines and filled them up. Once they were full they shut the machines off. When those totes came back empty, it was a signal to turn the lines back on. There was never a need for anyone to ever do any more scheduling for that department. The schedule was built into to the production environment. That's the beauty of Kanban. It connects activities, it connects processes, and it lets you know immediately when there's a problem. Again, it surfaces problems in regards to inventory between activities. So again, Kanban is well worth looking at. You can Google it and find more information on it. Just think of it as a pull signal. So if you want control over your inventories, you know, especially raw materials throughout your value stream, make sure they have a maximum, a minimum, and then some signal, be it flipping on a light, a card that's uh, placed somewhere, or just the toast themselves to where people know when to replenish them. Now you have control, you have pull signals, you have positive flow going downstream to the customer. So hopefully that helped you. You have Brian McCorder, Black Belt.